In Google Cloud Engineering Support, our goal is to work smoothly with you engineer to engineer to resolve any issues you may encounter when using Google Cloud Platform products. This video describes best practices for filing an issue report with our support engineers in the Google Cloud Support Center, but it's applicable to requesting technical assistance from any GCP engineer. This includes support cases, bug reports and issue trackers, and posts to our user groups and forums like Stack Overflow. The key principle is clarity. Specify the right level of technical detail and communicate your expectations explicitly so that we can better help you resolve the issue. The Support Center's help page and earlier videos present the mechanics of how to file cases. This will help you understand what to include in your cases and why. We will explain the details we need and why they're important. The four critical details to include with every case are specific times when you experience the issue, the GCP products you're using, the location, and specific identifiers for any resources relevant to your case. Onset time and duration give us a way to focus our time series monitoring on the relevant period. Please be explicit about whether the issue is ongoing or whether it was only observable in the past. If the issue isn't ongoing, please state that and give the end time if you know it. ISO 8601 format is a good choice because it's unambiguous and easy to sort. Please always include the time zone. Our internal systems tend to be in Google time, which is US specific, but our agents use a follow the sun model and may be in different time zones. Some issues are intermittent over a period. In this case, it's good to say when it's first observed, or perhaps note a time in the past when it was not happening. Remark about the frequency of observations and note one or two specific examples. When time is specified in a relative way, including omission of a time zone, the reader must convert into an absolute format that can be input into time series monitoring tools. This is error prone and costly, especially considering that each reader must pay the price. For example, sending an email about something that happened earlier yesterday causes the reader to search for a header in the initial email and start doing math in their head. Phrases to avoid are things like earlier today because it's not specific enough, or yesterday because we need to figure out the implied date when issues take multiple days to resolve. Don't use dates like 9 slash 8 because it's ambiguous and may be interpreted differently in other locales. The case creation form includes basic product selection which is used for routing to a specialist in the area. This isn't specific enough to locate the components or logs that will help diagnose the issue. Be as specific as possible about the product you're using, ideally referring to the specific APIs or console.cloud.google.com URLs or screenshots. For APIs, you can link to the documentation page, which contains the product name and the URL. Tell us about the mechanism you're using to initiate the request. For example, REST API, gcloud tool, console.cloud.google.com, or perhaps a tool like Deployment Manager. Sometimes multiple products are involved, so try to be specific about each one. Describe the behavior observing and what you expected, then show us what you see. You should be specific about the actions you have taken, as well as the syntax of any commands used. A phrase like can't create instance doesn't tell us whether you use gcloud compute, the developer console UI, or called it from your own code. The most clear way to communicate this example would be something like, I ran gcloud compute instances, create my instance, zone US Central 1A and got the following error message. When including the location, region and zone are important to us because we often roll out changes to one region or zone at a time. They are a proxy for the version number of the underlying software. We can see if there's a rollout underway in a given location or map it to an internal release ID for use in a bug report. You should include something along the lines of I tried regions US East 1 or US Central 1. In your case, please make sure to always include specific identifiers. Project ID is an input to most of our troubleshooting tools, and it's a required field when filing a case. Please provide a numeric project ID, not a project name. If the error is observed in multiple projects or in one project but not another, you should include that information in the description. Also include IDs of other objects like instance IDs, BigQuery job IDs, or table names. IP addresses are another form of unambiguous identifier. When specifying a cloud platform IP, tell us the context of how it's used. For example, if it's connected to a GCE instance, a load balancer, a custom route, or if it's an API endpoint. If you're troubleshooting a connection issue, then tell us a bit about the IP addresses that are not part of GCP. For example, if it's your home internet, a VPN endpoint, or an external monitoring system. You should always provide more specific information than something like one of our instances or we can't connect from the internet because support will need to gather more information from you before they can begin troubleshooting. That will mean further delays in resolving your issue. For any information you provide to support, be specific and explicit. If relevant, use a screenshot to show exactly what you see. For web-based interfaces, provide a HAR file or HTTP archive. Our documentation has instructions on how to get a HAR file in three major browsers. 
When troubleshooting networking issues, attach TCP dump output if you collect it, and also attach log snippets and example stack traces you believe to be relevant to the issue. When you file a case, support uses the priority field for initial routing, especially when an issue may page someone. The case priorities are also described in the case creation form itself. Use P1 for production emergencies. Think of case priority in terms of the impact to your business. In addition to setting the priority field correctly, it's useful to add a sentence describing the impact in your words. For example, you may consider a problem with the dev version to be a P1, even if no end users are directly impacted if it's blocking a critical security fix. To avoid incorrect assumptions, it's helpful to be explicit about why you selected P1. Cases have built-in response timers, which are designed to set reasonable expectations most of the time. If you have some specific needs, please let us know when you need an update. It's good to say something like, I need a response by 5 p.m. because that's when my shift ends. If you notice you're affected by an issue that's already reported on status.cloud.google.com, you can follow the progress in the dashboard itself or use the Me Too link in the cloud support portal to automatically get updates for known issues. When an issue needs to be handled around the clock, customers with 24-7 support can request that the case follow the sun. Cases that follow the sun will be reassigned several times per day, so it's always with an active support engineer. A lower priority case will not be managed around the clock as the assigned support engineer will go off shift at some point. This can cause delays if the assigned engineer is not in your time zone. You can ask us to manage the ticket in your time zone so you can communicate more easily with the support engineer. For example, you can say, please manage this case in my time zone, EST. This can help if you need a long discussion with the support engineer, but may not help if the development team is in another time zone. If you need to continue the conversation over Google Hangouts or phone after filing a case, please provide a link or phone number. If you request it, support will try to call when it does not interfere with issue resolution. For video bridges, we strongly prefer Google Hangouts, but can use anything that works within a Chrome browser without requiring extensions. If you're not requesting an immediate callback, please give two or three time slots when you're available to get started with the scheduling. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we'll try to address them in future videos.